In this quick YouTube short, we're gonna look at how to stay ahead of Azure retirement. So we're starting help and support, our active events and health advisories. And if we look at our health advisories, it will straight away show us, hey, look, there are some retirements that are being highlighted from the list below. I could click this retirements and it will only show me the retirements, which is also adding an issue subtype filter and setting it to retirement. This will give me the detail of the retirement, the action I should take and the subscription or tenant, but it doesn't show me the impacted resources today for retirements. So to get those impacted resources, we can go to Azure Advisor, go to our workbooks, from workbooks, go and look at our service retirements. And then in the impacted services view, it will show me all of the retirements for which it can give me the resource details. And then if I scroll down to the bottom of the page, it will give me again the specific retiring feature, but then the exact specific resource so I know exactly what I need to do. I can also select the all services view to see all retirements, those with resource details and those without. And I can also see the detail of services already retired. Hope this helps. Thank you.